Federal prosecutors say there is not enough evidence to pursue charges related to the death of American Shinquella Robinson, who died in Mexico last year. The 25-year-old from Charlotte, North Carolina, died on October 29th. Her death certificate listed the cause of death as a spinal and neck injury. A video posted online after her passing showed Robinson in a violent altercation with another woman. We're joined now by Salamandra Robinson, the mother of Shinquella Robinson. Salamandra, first of all, we're so sorry for, for your loss. What does it mean for your family to hear that federal charges will not be pursued? It was very disappointing. Uh, I, I'm sure. Were you surprised? No, but I was disappointed because the simple fact is that they had enough evidence through to the, the um, video that was online. And um, they said it wasn't enough evidence, but I don't believe. And then they said God, that she, they don't know what was the cause of her death. But the cause of her death was due to the fight from what we could see. And um, she said she, she didn't have a um, a broken neck, and she also died from the um, swelling on the brain. But she also was beaten, so you can give me a, um, you know, uh, I feel that someone should have been arrested due to that, you know. But um, they trying to say that it didn't, so I might have to have her body exhumed because we want we need another autopsy. Wow, and I'm sure you know, all of this being said by a mom, these are just unimaginable things to be discussing about about your daughter what where does your fight for justice go at this point we're going to keep going um we will be in washington on may the 19th and your, your lawyer has criticized the lack of urgency from u.s authorities in this case what do you feel should have been done differently i feel that they should have took this case and took it serious when it first happened they didn't um step up to the plate and do what they needed to do from the very beginning. They said it was out of their their um, hands, but it looked like to me they didn't try to do anything and they really failed my family, you know, as being the FBI and the, um, the government here, we has really been failed, you know, because um, my daughter didn't deserve to die like that. And um, brother was in Mexico or wherever it was. And, it, and they need to make a law, let people know that you can't go out of town and do nothing to someone and come back and think that you's okay with it. You know, if there was a video, everybody seen the video. So there should have been some charges should have been made. And I'm talking about here in the United States. We're focusing on the legal process and moving forward. But just for a moment before we go, can you describe what this has been like to go through as a family? It's been a nightmare. The whole, whole five months ain't been nothing but a nightmare to me. All right, Salamander Robinson, thanks so much. Uh, for joining us. We appreciate it. Okay, you guys, if you see no federal charges in the death of Shanquilla Robinson in Mexico, uh, keep Salamandra in your prayers. As you see, she said that she's going to be in Washington, D.C. May the 19th. So, um, yeah, just keep in your prayers, you guys. Continue to advocate. Uh, as you see, they went and got that Idaho killer real fast. Uh, but, you know, Shanquilla Robinson is sad, you know. This could have been our black daughter, sister, mother, you know, it's, it's sad, but all right, you guys, um, I'll keep you updated and I'm going to start commentating too on other uh, videos as well. So I promise to upload more often. I'm out.